All right, what's good, y'all? So, <laughs> niggas is still sick, but I wanted to make a video for y'all. Basically, I just wanted to share some stuff that's been on my mind. So, I think we all know trans women have bottom dysphoria. Well, I think it's like a spectrum. You can have like severe dysphoria, or you could have mild dysphoria. Me personally, I like the most of my life, um, it was severe, but I've like managed to make it mild. And I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how the fuck to do that. So this is how I manage my bottom dysphoria. It is number one, and it's also the number one thing that helped me. But basically, I have to stop dwelling on something that just isn't me. Why am I over here like, dang, I'm missing out. What if I had that? What if I had this? When I just don't, like I need to accept the fact that I don't. I have what I have, and that's it, it is what it is. You know, it may not be the most pleasant thing, but it is what it is. And then over time, you start to like, love yourself more, at least me personally, especially being on T, bro. I have a bottom growth now. So it's not like my anatomy is exactly like how it was pre-T. I'm actually content, like I found that middle, like happy ground, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but basically just tell myself, like stop thinking about all the what ifs. Stop feeling like you're missing out on something because you're not missing out on nothing, bro. For instance, I have a peanut allergy, right? And everyone tells me, yo, bro, you never had peanuts. You can't eat peanut butter. Oh my God, you're missing out. I'm like, not really because I've never tasted peanuts like in their delicious form. It just tastes like poison to me. So I'm not missing out if I've never experienced it. I'd be like, dang, I wish I had the cis, like a cis dude's, you know, anatomy down there. And in reality, like I'm not even missing out on it because I never experienced that. How am I gonna miss out on something I've never experienced, bro? And then again, it's also me having to like step back and just appreciate stuff because bro, I can still do stuff with what I got and it feels good. So it's like, why am I tripping on somebody else's, you know what I'm saying, on something that ain't even me? That's like me driving in my Honda and being like, dang, I wish I had a, a, a Maserati. Like, bro, just enjoy the damn Honda. <laughs> that was a weird analogy to a Honda to a Maserati. But what I'm trying to say is just like be content with what you got because you can't, you can't change that. I mean, you can change it, you know, through hormone surgery, all that stuff. But even then, bro, you're, we're not going to have the cis dudes anatomy. That's cool. Cause we're not cis and that, it's okay like you don't have to be like the next man the next man don't gotta be like us and also bro we be thinking that we want to be like these cis guys so bad a lot of these cis guys don't even like their bodies bro they're insecure about what they got down there so it's like we don't gotta match that it's not just a trans guy thing to feel insecure it is like in general bro to feel well i don't think cis people feel this for it because they're cis but just uncomfortability with your body. Just really take a step back and try not to make it so personal and attack yourself and say, why don't I have this? I'm not this, I'm not that. Just really stop and cut the negative talks, the negative thoughts, and nip them shits in the ass. That was the one point I had for y'all. That's what helped me. Like, I just had to stop thinking about the what ifs because it's not like that. It is what it is. You feel me? It is what it is. But yeah, niggas is sick. Also, y'all, bro, I was on a low. My dose, my testosterone levels were at like, I don't know, I think it was like, I forgot how many nanograms per deciliter, but it was like low as fuck. Usually my shit be like 900, um, 900 nanograms. I think I was at like a 300. Yeah, y'all probably didn't notice cause I wasn't even posting like that cause I didn't fucking feel good. Um, yeah, it was not a good time, but now I, uh, my, my dose is higher. I don't know what's been going on with me, my hormones and everything bro, but yeah, I'm back. I don't know if y'all can tell from me. I look a little more mas masculino from me. For me, no, I'm just but yeah, um, I'm about to go to Long Beach right now. I'm the chef for the day, so I gotta get to cooking. I gotta go to PetSmart, and then I gotta go to the store, and then I gotta go pick up my girlfriend, and then I gotta go to Long Beach, and then I gotta go cook, and then I gotta come back. Busy life, but yeah, hope this helped y'all for real. Like, just change the way you think, and like, shit will change, bro. It's not a overnight thing either. Like, you just gotta kind of cut them thoughts out as they come. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you start to feel like, damn. Oh, I suck this all oh, like I wish I cut that shit out tell yourself like bro shut the fuck up You know like actually talk to yourself and tell yourself to shut the fuck up be like, you know, I feel you bro But shut the fuck up Like I, I feel I see where you're coming from but shut the fuck up, you know But yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one